hi welcome back to my channel so today we'll be talking about things that happen in relationships that are normal that we thought were not normal yeah things like that so <laughs> before we get into it welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome here and Bree. so let's discuss things that happens in relationship just just three things that i noticed over time and i just want to mention them because i feel like we should we should talk about these things more some might be foreign to you i don't know you might be used to some of them but i'm sure most of us will share most of, i'm sure most of us share the same sentiments about these things because society and whatever makes us feel like these things are not normal or these things are unusual so one let's talk about how how women should dress like how married not women how married women should dress because growing up i hear women talking about oh you're married this is how you should dress if you used to dress very nice or used to wear maybe maybe you used to wear dresses or you used to wear pants or god knows what now that you're married you should change how you dress or you should dress more modest or you should like like you should just change your whole wardrobe i heard women talk about talk about it a lot she doesn't know she's a married woman see the way she's dressing i'm not saying that that you should go about and expose everything but it's yours to expose for goodness sake maybe that's how you dress before you go married you're fine dressing like that because people should be able to do what they want to do i don't think i should be the police of how another married woman should dress if i don't want to show skin does not mean the next married woman should not show skin that's the way i see it but back then people talk about how a married woman should dress. even up to now people still talk about it like oh you're married you shouldn't be wearing you shouldn't wear short things like why is that anybody's business why are we policing what married women should wear yes we're not well yes we it's it's important that okay as a married woman you look you look modest or what what's what's your definition of modest i don't know maybe what what i think is modest might not be what you think is modest so let people just do what they want to do and wear what they want to wear. I, I don't know how people and their relationships work, but if you met me dressing very nicely, when you met me, I, I dress up, I like to show some skin and whatever. And now that I'm married to you, now I want me to change to just turn 360 and start dressing a certain way and wearing married woman uniform, <laughs> whatever that is. And of, 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 of which recently I noticed that I was wearing this married woman uniform or oh, free top and skinny jeans, free tops and skinny jeans. And the tops are always baggy and they don't really flatter you that much. I just, then I, I, I decided that this is not me. This is not how I used to dress. Like when did I, when did I start wearing this mom uniform? I don't want to wear this mom uniform. I want to look, I, want, I like look, looking girly. I like looking like a lady. So I started, look, I started buying clothes that flatter my body type more and and now i love i love the things that i wear so you shouldn't just change your whole wardrobe because now you're a married woman and now you have to dress like a married woman like like really doesn't those, those are some of the things that will make somebody some somebody that will make somebody maybe unhappy because now you don't, you've lost yourself you don't really know who you are because now you're married you're now this married woman that should be a certain way and I just feel it doesn't i just feel it doesn't make sense i think people should be able to do whatever they want to do married or not so yeah just wanted to get that out of my chest two men men that help with chores in relationships are they, they were being looked at looked down on as like less than that's another thing i noticed when i was much younger even before i started dating people talk about those men they call them woman rapper what some 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 what people call uh, what was what's the word people call them beta males these days i don't know if that's the word or some people call them simps because they help their wives or something i don't know maybe 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 i don't really understand the whole meaning of the whole simp stuff but i noticed that people call men that are very supportive of their women they try to call them simps like somebody shares a story that oh this my husband did my husband did this, 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 and somebody said, oh, he's a simp. I noticed that that's what happens soon. So when when a man helps in relationship, you say, oh, he's he's not being manly, 
like men, maybe men that marry women that can't really cook and the man does the cooking. Be like, oh, that's not how it's supposed to be. The woman is supposed to cook and the man is supposed to relax and just be. Like, I remember when I, I, remember when I, when I started dating my husband, we started living together. He used to help a lot. He still helps a lot. So he'll help me, he'll help me when, when, we're, when we're cooking. Maybe he cuts vegetables and I do the other part of the cooking. I told a friend of mine, and she was like, no, that's, it's not supposed to be. Like, she, she said something like, you've, you've seen boy boy. I was like, no, that's not boy boy. Like, <laughs> this is my husband being supportive. And I don't really blame her because she, she, she never grew up or she never had a partner that was very supportive, that was very helpful. But as, as you know, normal life always happens. Then she fell sick and then she had this boyfriend that really took care of her, that cooked for her, took, um, helped her to take showers and everything. Then she was telling me that, oh, look at what this person did. I was like, oh, now you've seen Boy Boy and we laughed about it. So it took her, her experiencing it to actually understand that it's a good thing if you're it's a good thing for your partner to be able to help you with cooking, like do chores, share chores with you. But because of because of upbringing and society, you just feel like, oh no, the man is this person that is up there and you as a woman, you are down here. So if your man comes down, or if both of you are on the same level, that maybe he's not, he's not really a man. But we know now that those are, those are the MVP, those are the men. You want a man that will support you. you. Want a man that will help you with house chores. And those wives that have very supportive husbands that help with chores and all these other things that that some people think are simps. Those wives are happy wives. Like in my house now, we share chores. I do cooking and some cleaning. My husband does laundry and some cleaning. And and I know people that their husbands have not done laundry before. Their husbands have never washed the bathroom before. And and before I, I used I, I used to be scared to mention these things. Like I was feeling like, oh, that's, how how would people look at me if I say I don't do laundry? If I say my husband does laundry, but my husband is proud that he does laundry. He wants my son to know that men help with chores, men help their wives. So if my son grows up tomorrow and decides to marry somebody, then he 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 would know at the back of his mind that, oh. I'm going to help my wife with chores because this is what my dad, this, this is what my dad does in his own marriage and everything. So he's setting an example which makes me very proud now. So now I can I can probably say, oh, my husband does laundry, or my husband does grocery shopping. And and it takes a good man to do that. It takes a very good man to do that. So that's something that we should normalize. So aside from women, they won't tell you that ah, why is your husband doing this? Thing? There are men too that that feel like those men are not being manly enough now you're supposed to be the boss you're supposed to, yes the man is still the head of the home but you're supposed to be the boss in your home you're not supposed to do this this you're not supposed to do that 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 but a man that is the head of his home is one that will choose how his how his home operates and a supportive husband is a very very is a husband that you should be really proud of so yeah then um another another thing that i noticed I, I learned this one when, when I started watching relationship videos and reading posts, relationship posts on Quora, Reddit, and even just normal Google search. People will say, oh, people in happy relationships are faking. They're not actually happy because there, there's, there's no way somebody will be happy in, in a relationship with the same person. So people will be like, oh, how, how, how would you feel looking at the same person? for five years how if you're looking at the same person for 10 years that won't you be bored won't you get tired of seeing that face like what's wrong with the face or oh, that the person is getting older is that the problem you that are looking at the person's face are you not getting older or oh, is only that is only is only that woman it's only the woman that gets older really so so yeah with somebody because of how they look if that's your reason for being with somebody then you shouldn't be with anybody because over time people's faces change People get older, some people fall sick. Different things can happen. So if you think that people that have been in relationships, relationships for maybe over five years, over 10 years, or maybe 20 years, you think that they are unhappy and they are faking, then really you don't understand. You really don't understand how relationships work. I'm not saying that there are no unhappy relationships out there. Of course there are. But 
it's also important to know that there are lots of happy relationships and i'm happy to say that i'm i'm in a happy relationship <laughs> i've said happy i've said happy so many times now. so you, we can't we, we, we can't just conclude that people in in happy relationships are faking because because we've seen we, maybe we heard that oh this person was married for 20 years and one partner did something and the relationship failed or she's been unhappy for a long time and she never mentioned it yes these things happen but that's not everybody there are lots of people that have been married for maybe 40 years 50 years and they're still very happy with that person that they've been with forever and and if you're talking about or oh, looking at the same face yes yeah, some of us like to look at the same face because we don't want to be changing faces oh today 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 we are with this person is this person's regime or oh, this person is going to reign for like five years and then we'll, we'll drop this one and then we'll get another one and then is is this one's regime oh well, now i have this husband and now i have an ex-husband now i have a new husband i'm not saying that people should not remarry if they want to or if they or if they were in a bad relationship and they got divorced and have a new partner that's fine but just changing partners for the sake of oh you don't want to look at the same face for the next 10 years or god knows what that doesn't make any sense so i like to look at the same face really because <laughs> i love i love my husband so much that that's the face that i want to see every time i wake up that's the face i want to see every day I wake up and that's the face he wants to see to every day that he wakes up so yeah people in happy relationships are not faking somebody tells you they're happy in their relationship they're probably telling you the truth if they're unhappy or find out or i don't know you'll find out if you're so desperate to find out but yeah those are three things i just wanted to get off my chest Whew, so what what have you heard like things that people say about relationships that you think are just off please share in the comments i would love to know what you think and maybe we'll talk about it there or we'll make a video about it thanks for watching this video if you like it please like it and subscribe for more i'll see you next time bye